Taiwan has a great diversity and abundance of snake species, many of which are harmless or non-venomous. But then there are the deadly six. The Taiwan Center of Disease Control (CDC) has identified six snake species that are responsible for almost all of Taiwan's medically significant snake bites. But that does not mean these beautiful snakes need to be feared, as they will only ever bite in self-defense. However, there are situations where a snake may be unseen, and an unfortunate person may accidentally grab. Or unwittingly step on the snake, resulting in a bite. Let's take a look at Taiwan's deadliest snakes. The most likely of the six you might encounter is the beautiful green tree viper. These are ambush predators, which means they tend to remain completely motionless, sometimes for days on end. Combined with their excellent camouflage. And tendency to sit in low shrubs, grasses, water edges, plantations, and farmlands, they can commonly come in contact with farmers and outdoor recreationalists alike. Fortunately, they will usually only bite if direct contact is made. So even though they are exceptionally common, bites are not common. The venom contains hemorrhagic toxins. And bites are very painful. Bite marks are usually clear to see and bleed freely. Around the bite can turn black and swell, so be sure to remove any watches, rings, or other jewelry. Fortunately, hospitals around Taiwan always stock plenty of anti-venom, and green tree viper bites seldom result in death or major medical complications. Just mind where you put your hands when out and about. Also, don't confuse them with the harmless greater green snake, which can easily be differentiated by their much glossier scales, absence of the red tip of the tail, and the most obvious difference is they don't have the distinct triangular-shaped head of a viper. The second most encountered of the six is the Taiwan harbu, or Guai Kehua. These are also ambush vipers. So will usually be found sitting still, relying on their adept camouflage to remain undetected. These are terrestrial snakes, so will almost always be found on the ground, or sitting up on rocks, or the edges of ponds and water, waiting for their favorite prey, frogs. This again poses some hazard to humans, as they can be stepped on. Or accidentally encountered by farmers. Again, just be vigilant if working or walking around piles of logs or water. Their bites contain hemorrhagic toxins, so much like the green tree viper, bite marks are clear, and there will be swelling and bloody blisters. Again, remove any watches and jewelry, and get to any hospital or clinic, and you will probably be fine. These are nocturnal, so pay extra attention at night, and always use a light. One of the more well-known of the six, and often most feared, is the Chinese cobra. They will, however, almost always flee any encounter. Only when they feel truly threatened, such as when you get too close, will they rear up and give you a loud, clear warning. To stay back. Although accidental bites happen, most cobra bites occur when people inappropriately confront or handle the snakes. Just keep your distance, and they will go away. If you find one in your home, call professionals to come and remove it. Don't try to do it yourself, or try to harm the snake, as this will only aggravate it further and increase your chance of an unwanted bite. Their venom is both neurotoxic and cardiotoxic, so although the bite marks may not be clearly visible, there can be extreme pain, swelling, and necrosis can set in quickly. Luckily, cobra bites seldom result in death. As like the aforementioned snakes, 
anti-venom is readily available across Taiwan. They can also spit venom at aggressors, but do this very rarely and with poor accuracy. If you counter a cobra, just give it space and it will leave you alone. Most people in Taiwan are familiar with the many banded crate, or Yu Sun Jie. These are in fact one of the world's most venomous snakes outside of Australia. Fortunately, however, they are nocturnal, very shy, almost never bite, and a rather poor venom delivery system. In addition, they have extremely distinct black and white warning coloration, and even put on very clear defensive displays. For this reason, despite being a common snake, bites are rare. Yusanjia deliver a neurotoxic venom, so if bitten, there can be no pain, no bite marks, and no swelling. Perhaps just some itching at the site of the bite. In some cases, the victims have been completely unaware that they have been bitten. However, within an hour to mere minutes, one can experience blurred vision, cramps, muscle spasms, and even paralysis. Then eventually, weakened respiratory functions. Untreated bites can result in up to 85% mortality. Fortunately, anti-venom is readily available. If you think you've been bitten, get to a hospital or clinic as soon as possible. They're quite beautiful reptiles, especially when they move. Our fifth snake is one of the rarer and more legendary of the six. The Hundred Pacer, Bai Bu Shi, or Mountain God, Shan Shan. They have quite thick bodies with clear triangle patterns and a triangular head with a distinct pointed snout. It is unlikely for most people to encounter one, as they are rare and generally inhabit forested mountain areas, and are more active at night than by day. As another pit viper, they also typically rely on their incredible camouflage, and can remain motionless among the leaf litter. Mind your step and wear covered footwear when hiking in the mountains. Their name, Hundred Pacer, is based on the legend that if bitten, you have up to 100 steps before you succumb to the venom. Although this is an exaggeration, they can deliver substantial venom, and fatalities do occur. Of course, anti-venom is available. These are quite impressive snakes. Consider yourself lucky if you get the chance to see one. Just remember to keep a safe distance. At number six, we have the stunning Russell's Viper, or Solianshu, chain snake, because their patterns look like chain links. Predominantly active around dusk and dawn, they can also be out by day or night. In Taiwan, they are mostly restricted to coastal areas of the southwest and southeast. They're also one of Taiwan's most seldom encountered snakes. These snakes are very quick to make their escape in any encounter and will otherwise form a defensive coil and give a loud warning of huffing and hissing. <laughs> Bites from this snake are very rare, but they can deliver very large venom loads, so it can be considered very dangerous if bitten. There can be severe pain at the site of the bite, rapidly followed by swelling. Bleeding and blistering is common, as well as drop in blood pressure and heart rate failure. Necrosis can happen around the site of the bite, and vomiting is not uncommon. Fortunately, anti-venom is available in local areas. With this snake, just be mindful where you walk, and avoid walking in dense undergrowth or among sticks and rubble. With any of the deadly six, they are only really dangerous if you're extremely unlucky or get too close. There are several other highly venomous snake species in Taiwan, but they either very rarely bite or have few interactions with humans. Just like any other outdoors activity, 
be mindful of what you're doing and the conditions you are in. If a bite does occur, try to stay calm to keep the heart rate down. Remove any watches, jewelry or constrictive clothing as swelling will likely occur. Keep the bitten limb below the heart level and get to a clinic as soon as possible. Also try to remember the features of the snake in order to identify it. But don't try to catch or kill the snake, as this could result in another bite. Also, don't cut the wound, don't try to suck out the venom, don't apply a tourniquet or apply ice, and don't drink alcohol or caffeine. It is very seldom people encounter snakes, and far more seldom to be unfortunately bitten. Snakes are not fearsome creatures out to get us. I hope this video helps improve your understanding of Taiwan snakes and gives you a new appreciation of their beauty and importance. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks for watching. See you next time.